Hey guys, I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on now and still. These are very common time expressions that we use in English all the time. So it's important to know what they mean first of all and how we can use them in a sentence. So first we have he's not here now and now Tanya lives in Ottawa. So obviously the word now, most of you probably know, means at this very moment, this exact moment. So he's not here now. Before he was here, but now he is not here, okay? Um, now Tanya lives in Ottawa. Before maybe she lived in Toronto or Montreal or maybe she was an international student from Germany, okay? But now Tanya lives in Ottawa. So we can use it to talk about uh, the actions of a person in the moment or the actions of a thing, I suppose. Now, um, what we can do with now is place it at the beginning of a sentence like I did here. Now, Tanya lives in Ottawa. We can also put it at the end of a sentence like I did here. He's not here now. And it's also possible, if we, do, if we don't have the verb to be, to place now um, before a verb. So for example, Tanya now lives in Ottawa. So we can say now Tanya lives in Ottawa, uh, Tanya now lives in Ottawa, Tanya lives in Ottawa now. Okay, so you have three possibilities. Same as here, except in the middle. We can say he's not here now, or now he's not here. Okay, um, I made a note for you guys to use right now for immediacy. If you want it to be stronger, if you want to make, I know now means like now, 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 you can't get any stronger. But in usage, if you say it in spoken word, it does sound like it's more important or more, um, even more immediate in the, in the present, okay? So he's not here right now, not right now. Right now, Tanya lives in Ottawa. Now, Tanya lives in Ottawa. The meaning is basically the same, but you can use right now to make it seem a little stronger, to add a, a little bit more emphasis. Here, we have still, okay? Now, still, we can use to talk about something that began in the past and has continued until the present. The first sentence is, I'm still hungry. So here you have the adjective hungry. Before an adjective, you can use still. So imagine that you are having lunch, right? And you have lasagna, okay? So you're eating your lasagna. Like, mm, it's very good, it's very good. You finish your lasagna. And then after five minutes, hmm, you're hungry. You are still hungry. So you were hungry before lunch and you are hungry now. So we can use still to talk about something that started in the past but has continued until the present. For example, Paul still wakes up late every day. I have known Paul for 10 years, okay? Let's imagine Paul is my best friend in the world. Now, he woke up late every single day uh, when we were in high school together. Today, for work, he still wakes up late every day, okay? Um, so you can also use it before a verb, and she still lives with her parents. So imagine that she is, I don't know, let's make up a name. Her name is Mary, okay? And she is 37 years old. Let's imagine she is 37 years old, and she still lives with her parents. Now, I know in some cultures, that's totally fine, totally cool. Um, in North American culture, for me, it's a little weird. For me, it's a little weird, okay? No disrespect, but for me, it's strange for a 37-year-old to be living with their parents, unless there are special circumstances, right? Okay, um, so again, still means it started in the past, it has continued into the present, and now means now at the very moment, right? At this very moment. So if you want to test your understanding of how to use now, how to use still, and the position of now and still in a sentence, you can check out the quiz on angvid.com. Take care guys and good luck.